this is a bit of an experiment uh, and a challenge or a request to everyone who knows how to use InDesign for layout design and setting type. Uh, I'm kind of into this new layout, well, new new for me, where the width between columns varies, but the height stays the same. Everything matches vertically. Uh, I just really like the neatness of that. And I think it works really well in a lot of different layouts in print and web. And um, how do you do that? I don't think InDesign has a great way of doing it. And if anyone knows of a way, let me know. Here's my attempt right now at what, what I'm doing. So here, here is uh, what a client gives you. And generally, when you ask someone yeah, who knows how to use InDesign, how to do this, they're going to tell you to set up multiple columns in a frame. And InDesign doesn't have a way of letting you do that, but varying the position of that gutter. So you can't move the gutter around. These are going to have symmetrical widths and then the uh, vertical heights aren't matching. And so we have lots of tricks to, to get away with that. You know, there's uh, match column uh, heights like this, uh, but that doesn't work if you've, if you've got certain, um, topographical rules already set in. So say this is a natural new start of a paragraph. So we want that on the next column. So I've used my num lock number pad enter there to break the um, frame. So it will go to a new column. And then again, we have matching widths, but not matching uh, vertical length. <clears throat> so what do we do? Um, the next thing people often say is just to break it out of a frame. So we take it out there, put it there, and make that frame thinner. And then we just tweak it, whatever, tweak this one as well. Then you have to make that one one column again. And then we're going to make that one thinner. And we're going to maybe like tweak it a little bit more and then it oversets. But I'm trying to get these the same. That's, that's not quite working. Sometimes I go like this. I set this reference point to the left and then I increase it by millimeters to see where it'll go to. I'm trying to get these vertically matching. It's not really working. You know, then someone's going to tell you to use this justify vertically. Then you've got um, variation in the leading between sides. Um, so how do you do it? Here's one idea I had. You use a table. So let's try it. Here's what I did. I create, I create a table and you insert a table. You just create one body row or even two. So let's go two by two, two columns and two rows. And we'll use this top column as our heading. That is a, that spans both the columns. Did I copy that text onto the clipboard? So that's my bigger column in there now. I have a set text. That's what vanished. And I'll take the smaller column and I'll paste that in there. Highlight the whole table. Select all the strokes in the table um, controls. Make those zero. I just like to generally increase the padding in a table a little bit. Um, then what you can do is with your type tool when you just hover over the gutter, um, you can just drag one thing to adjust the vertical heights of both um, both columns and I hope when other InDesign users see that they're going to be stoked because when I realized how it worked how easy it was to get them to match like that I was really happy and you saw me before trying to get two columns matching now there's so much more you can do with this now you can move the whole thing around just with one key if you're pretty slick with tables you're very comfortable here I like using tables um, you can insert a column um, to the left. And then you've got yourself a very manually customizable gutter. Um, down here I have my spanning heading, which doesn't have to be spanning. I can split that, split that column. And you can keep going. You can make this uh, as many columns as you want. Um, that will let you do a very easy background. Which always looks nice. Uh, you can make that background 100% and switch the text around so you've got a reverse heading. 
Um, that's a pretty easy thing to handle in page layout. If you're only doing a couple of pages and you don't want text flow, break it out, put it in a table, I think. Every time I've used text flow on a pretty small document page-wise, I've ended up breaking text frames apart anyway to get good control over the, how the paragraphs look. Uh, there's no ultimate best way of doing anything in InDesign. Uh, there's going to be situations where this is a bad idea, um, and I'm going to come across those too, but you know, maybe at some point this is going to help you. But uh, that's it. That's my technique for having vari varying width columns and matching heights for InDesign. Um, try it out and let me know how it goes. Um, I really want to learn a better way to do this, and I think that might be a feature InDesign could incorporate. It'd just be really cool if you know this was this was a uh, one frame with uh, two columns, and I could just grab this gutter and move it around. That'd be so unreal. I could totally solve this problem. I wouldn't have to use the table method. Um, please let me know if this works for you and uh, what situations where it doesn't work. Thanks.